Hey everyone, it is noon on Wednesday, so we're going to get started. I'm Allison, and I'm going to take you through low intensity strength training. It's a short and sweet exercises that we could do. It takes about 30 minutes. We have about a, a three minute warm up, and then the basis of the workout is we do some pillar prep, we do some movement prep, kind of gateway movements to get us ready for our three blocks we're going to do. Uh, the first block has three exercises and they're all back to back to back. So they're 20 seconds each and we do all three of them um, in a rotation where we continually do that for about uh, five to six minutes. And then we have a, a break. We move on to block number two and we have three exercises there. They're 20 seconds each. We do that for five rounds. There'll be a break after that. And then we have block three where there are only two exercises and we do each one for 30 seconds back to back to back, and we finish it out with block three, and that's more cardio-based. So in a nutshell, uh, as long as you have maybe weights with you, that's great. Have water, a towel, and a place or a space to work out in, and all you have to do is follow along. So I'm going to head back to my space here. I got my timer, and we're going to do a quick warm-up. So the first thing we have on tap is a squat overhead reach. Everything's roughly 30 seconds. Uh, just follow along. So squat overhead reach, the arms are forward. We're gonna squat back, tailbone goes back, squat back. Squat back, we're gonna do our reach, lift that chest up, back to center, back to top. Good, the whole time we're pressing outward with our legs, good. We're going to squat here, hold, reach up, bring that chest up, back together. Good. One more squat, hold, reach. And now we're going to lift up with the arms extended. Good. Chest, shoulders down and back. Good. Arm circles. Bring your legs in a little bit. We're going to do big circles forward. Disengaging our shoulders, our traps. Make sure on the way up, swing down. Good. Two more. And we're going to reverse that. Good. Two more. Reach. Lead it with your thumbs. Good. Open it up. Good. One leg stands and we're going to hold it. So we're going to shift our weight to one side. I'm going to choose my right. This is going to contract. I'm going to give my leg a little bit of a hug. One, two, three, and switch. Good. Press all the way through, give yourself a hug. Two more on each side. When you bring that knee in for a hug, you should feel this. When you contract here, it should feel kind of stretch out in the front. Yeah. All right. So we got. We got that underway. We're going to do a little bit, a couple of movements on the mat real quick. Some dynamic glute bridges, make sure our backside is firing. Glute bridges. Knees stay outward. We press up. Good. Squeeze. Two more. And relax. We're going to flip over. We're going to do a couple arm reaches. We're going to hold here. We're going to reach out and come back to center. Hold back to center. Make sure when you get your arm out, you reach a little bit. Get a stretch. Lift. Reach. Two more each side. Good. We're going to hold it here. We're going to do a reach through. Reach up. Reach through three of those. Get back to center. Reach up. Just gaining a little bit more flexibility in our upper spine. Reach. Good. And we're done. All right. Now that we're kind of loosened up, our core is engaged, ready to go. Switch my timer here.
All right, so we have we have those three exercises we're gonna do. We have each one is 20 seconds and we're gonna rotate through that five times. Gives us about five and a half minutes. So the first one we have, if you have weights at home, fantastic. If you don't, that's fine. You can do, you can use a book, you can use a soup can, anything you want, but we're gonna do a split squat stance. So we're gonna come here. So this is bent and the leg, leg in the back is bent. And we're on the open hip side, we're gonna press, press. Then we're gonna switch next 20 seconds on the open side, squeeze these glutes, press, press. And then we have renegade row, we're gonna drop to the floor. You don't have to keep those weights if you don't want to. Come into a plank and we're gonna row. So those are the three things we're doing. Back to back to back. Just gonna bring this a little bit closer here. So when I start, I can renegade row and have weights right next to me because we're doing these consecutively. All right, great opportunity to turn up your music. And here we go, split squats, right side. Good, we're here, bend down, press up, 20 seconds. Keep those knees pushing outward, pressing through your heel. Switch. Split stands. This is number two out of the three. Squeeze those glutes in the back. Good, ready to row. I'm gonna keep with the weights here and I'm just gonna row back and forth. Hold your hip. Let's dance. Switch. Row. Let's stance. Switch. Row, getting it done, getting it done, short and sweet today. Open up to your hip, to your chest, elbows go straight back, shift your weight, left and right, all right, foot stands. Come on. Three, two, one, switch. Nice. Come on, keep going, keep going. Power through this, power through it. Come on. Arm overhead. Good. 
There's your row. Get in place and row. Good. Good. Split stance, working it. Come on. Press. 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 Keep working. And you can bend that leg if you want a little bit. Straighten it out. Whew. Switch. Row. Get there, get there. Elbow straight back. Good. Woo. You're done on that one. All right. Next up. A little minute break, minute break here. Slide this forward. I will show you the next three exercises. So we have mountain climber, we have blue bridges, and the V-sit hold. So we got our mountain climber here. Knees up, 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 a little bit faster. Again, this low impact. Knees up to your chest, glue bridges. Quick turnover and our dynamic. Good. You can put your arms anywhere you kind of need them to be. But we're lifting and squeezing at the top. And then we go right into a V sit. Hold 20 seconds right here. 20 second hold. You should feel all on your front side. All right. And go. Mountain climbers. 20 seconds. Left and right, left and right, find a little rhythm. The bridges are next. Let's go onto that mat. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, elongate the front. V sit up on your tailbone, hold here. Again, we're flipping over and doing mountain climbers after. Hold, hold, hold. Mountain climbers, go. Blue bridges, flip, dynamic, good. Elongate the front. We squeeze at the top, the front side should elongate. V sit hold. Sit, hold, come on. Mountain climbers, flip, go. Sturdy, sturdy plank, legs are moving. Bridge, flip. Elongate, come on. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Keep working. You got this. Working through Wednesday. 
Get to the top, good, you keep working. Face it, hold, come on. Keep breathing. Mountain climber, slip and go. All right, knees to chest, come on. Find that strength, find your rhythm. It's the last of it. Blue bridges, get there. And begin, lift and lower, squeeze. Got it. Peace at home. Left, left, left. Keep breathing. We bridge, we bridge, we bridge, get there. Nice. And lower, good. Nice. And lower. Be sit hold. Work your abs, your hip flexion, your quads, your upper abs, your tie. Big inhales through your upper back. Whew. All right, block two is done. So the next one we have is cardio based. So it's 30 seconds each exercise. We only had two of them. Again, they're back to back to back and the continuum. All cardio base moves back here. So we have half jacks, keeping some of the impact real light. So it's half jacks. So we're going to tap out. You can have shorter levers with your upper body, or if you want a little bit higher, you can do this. That's for 30 seconds, right into a side step, hamstring curl, side string, side string, side, hamstring curl. Open up your chest and kick your bottom in five seconds. All right, three, two, one. Here's your half jack, good, good job. Low impact, no jumping, move the arms. Come on, 30 seconds. Make it shorter if you want. Half jacks. Side step hamstring curls next. Good. Bring that heel to your bottom. Track that hamstring. If you have lighter weights at home, you're more than welcome to use them, like one or two pounds. That'll definitely bring up the intensity. Bring up the intensity, get your heart rate up. Keep working, keep working. Hamstring curl, side step, go. Work. 
if we have some really good music on, you can just kind of sweat it out, find the rhythm, jam. Come on, open and close. And half jacks, good. Last little bit here. Last one, half jacks, good. Good, hamstring curls, keep it going. Heel the bottom, find a rhythm, press your chest out, squeeze your elbows back, good. Two. And one, nice. Quick little pull down, shake it out. Arm circles forward, good. Kind of the most important part of the workout and back. Good. Good. Right stance, shift your weight to either side. I'm gonna choose my right and then back to center. And left, back to center, squeeze, nice and light. Two more. Hold here, all right. We're gonna put one leg forward, we're gonna pull that toe to our shin, stretch out our hamstring. Point and flex, working on a little bit of ankle mobility. And switch, put out, let toe to that shin. Let's do a quad stretch. So shift our weight to one side, grab the opposite foot, and get your balance. There we go. Switch. Reach. Get your balance. Right. So a couple of overhead stretches. Reach up as high as you can, bend to the right, keep that chest up. Back to center, other side. Okay. All right. All right, everyone. That was low intensity, short and sweet, low impact. I'm Allison. Hope you can join me next time. Tomorrow is boot camp, Core Express. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you for joining me.